There are thousands of missing persons here in Arizona. Some are unidentified remains, others simply vanished. But today, a group of organizations came together with the goal of providing peace to those left behind. Team 12's Adam Bagney was there and spoke to one woman who says she can finally rest easy. It's freeing, Adam. There's, uh, there's nothing else to say. It's free. It's changed my life. For a quarter century, Toynette Benson waited and wondered agonizing over what might have happened to her 26-year-old brother, Todd, who went missing, never to be seen again. Honestly, the not knowing uh, has to be the difficult part, the most difficult part. I mean, it's all difficult. Benson was among the many families attending the annual Missing in Arizona Day at ASU's West Campus, a sort of one-stop shop for the loved ones of those who have disappeared. Organized by Phoenix Police, it featured everything from DNA testing to mental health assistance, even experts in search and rescue. And Mexican officials were there too, ready to help if necessary. These cases never close. Until we find somebody who have a resolution, the, the officers that work the cases will continue to be dedicated to them. This is the fourth time the event has been held and it's gathered results. Police say they've resolved 27 cases thus far and Benson's brother was one of them. Not only did we find his remains, we have a story. So now I realize after all these years what happened to my brother. But officials say they want more tips, urging families who weren't here Saturday to contact them anytime with information or their DNA. We want to make sure that people don't have that fear and not to worry about uh, status. Come forward, share that story. Your missing loved one is important to us as well. There is a path to an answer, and it could be, like my story, over 25 years. In Glendale, Adam Bagney, 12 News.